Welcome to WooTube. My name's Baran Wu, and today I am joined by a very special guest. Uh, would you please introduce yourself, Bing? Uh, hello. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Bing. Um, I'm an Australian player from Canberra. Um, I mostly actually play online, uh, and I kind of hang out with the drop pairs online. Uh, and, and that's how I, I know my, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I guess my favorite faction is not that you've asked this, but my favorite faction is Anarch. So yeah, makes sense. Um, so we should probably preface this with the fact that we have done this entire recording before. Um, about a month ago or so, um, uh, I got you on. We recorded a really good about two hours of content, some really good games, and I afterwards realized that i hadn't recorded your voice for the entirety of it um but we've done a test today so we've learned um and we're good um so uh it's the perfect perfect netrunner experience really uh, like yes no sound just the game <laughs> just I see people being into that <laughs> pure pure netrunner um yeah but yeah um yeah, so I'll, I'll probably say uh, most of the same things which I said last time, which is that I'm, I'm really happy to have you on. Um, I wanted to kind of get you on as a guest uh, from when I very first started, just because I really like your sort of deck building philosophies. I think we share some kind of similar loves. We, we both really enjoy playing decks that have Hot Pursuit in them, uh, oh. for instance. <laughs> it's a good card. Um and uh and i often sort of find your decks good inspiration for me to uh to sort of build something from you often come yeah. up with some pretty off the wall I... ideas oh yeah like they're mostly pretty trashy but i like i'm very much like a throw paint on the wall kind of person and like see what comes from it um so it's always been nice to throw the ideas out and like you know, the voice of reason within the drop bear layer is always uh, kind of nice, but you're you're maybe not a full voice of reason, but a <laughs> um, uh, I'm I you like, participate in the madness sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I I like to I I like to enable jank, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely like uh, a good way to go. So the the reason that I've got you on today is that we wanted to look at your headlock hashiko deck so i'm going to bring that up on screen here now this is what we were playing last time i don't know if there's been any any changes um oh i should probably share my screen with you so that you share can actually screen. see yeah. what we're doing um so let me do that now uh there we are and you need to be able to see this one here fantastic all right i think the funny know. thing that would be for you to not record the visual and just to record. that would be pretty incredible let's see if i can mash the two up together you know um okay right you should be able to see see what's on my screen now yeah. hopefully lovely so uh so let's quickly talk about this list so we could we could sort of start with the events we've got some pretty standard stuff like deuces wild and dirty laundry but i think um the kind of the or one of the crux of this deck comes down to the kind of free cards below that um i think is where it yeah. starts to get interesting yeah i think um i like love diversion of funds in anarch i think it's a really good home for diversion of funds like when you're trashing ice which is basically econ denial um it kind of just makes sense to have diversion of funds too so that's why i like the card um but it's also just yeah uh, a nice pressure card. So, nice. Yeah. Uh, we've also got another good Econ Denial card in uh, Mining Accent. Yep. Um, yeah, do you want me to talk about how the deck works, or do you want to just go through the card? Um, yeah, maybe let's uh, give, give us an overview on, on, on what, you're, what you're trying to do with this deck, because I think that's, uh, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, basically. Um, basically, you're just keeping people as low to the ground as possible credit-wise. Um, so you just, uh, like, doing the Anarch thing in terms of forcing reses and just, like, running headface into ice, um, which is, like, standard for Anarch. Um, 
then throwing in the econ denial is kind of like the next layer on it. So you're just keeping them pinned to the ground um, and then taking advantage of them not being able to res ice. Um, and that's where the spice, I think, comes in uh, with the Kyobans, Um so that you can kind of make the most of the Kyobans if they've got no money um, and don't want to res their ice because of the threat of Hippo. Um, and then, yeah, you just put it in as much econ denial as you can, um, hijack routers, uh, diversion of funds, mining accidents, um, and then to top it off, like the recursion with the labor rights. Um, so let's, nice. I'm just going to quickly talk about these cards because um, some people, yeah. um, especially if they're coming from startup, might not be too familiar. Mm. So diversion of funds, this is the kind of the, the classic criminal card where we're going to run HQ and it's going to, uh, steal five credits from the corp and we uh, get those credits in in return um, this is probably like one of the first cards which you're introduced to when you come to start up uh, standard so I'm sure you're possibly familiar with this um, less played nowadays mining accident um, this means that we can run a central and then um, play this card and we either get a bad publicity um, or the corp has to pay five credits. And in general, if the corp can pay five credits, they normally should pay five credits because um, if you let a, an Anarch rack up a bunch of um, uh, bad publicity, then, then the game becomes very difficult. Uh, we got Hijacked Router, which is a, a, a much less seen card, but um, can be pretty spicy. This... Um, has two kind of modes one it punishes decks which want to go wide by kind of forcing them to pay a credit every time they make a new server but we can also use it just as uh i think you'd call it like a mini diversion i guess on on archives to and i think i think it's like like maybe better in scenarios than diversion as well um like one it's on a weak server on archives um but two like knowing the like res costs of ice um yeah i don't know just yeah you can just like you can kind of dance around like knowing what what ice can hurt you um just with the three credits like just as much as division of funds um, yeah. but it only really costs you a click if you've already got it down like getting the value so. and there's there's no kind of um there's no you can't kind of duck this or there's no good reason to sort of duck the credits for, yeah. for hijacked route so much as like as compared to diversion yeah and you can't be like border controlled you can't be um kind of like booped into other servers and the effect like yeah if they do that you just get to run again um and then we have kayaban which is which is a pet card of mine i really really love this card and um I remember when you were kind of uh, uh, tuning this deck a, a while back now, but um, you adding in the two Kaya bands, and that was that was really where I think the the deck started to to sing. Um, yeah, because you know I think you you use this card uh, almost like ice destruction essentially, right? Yeah, totally. It's um yeah, and again, like it's one of these pseudo ice destruction pieces and like the best thing about it is you put it on a piece of ice when they're on low credits and like you're taking advantage of it like a um what is it magnus opus like basically but getting runs um which is like awesome in itself but when they have to trash it they then have to like this is the rudest thing about it is that they have to trash their own ice and spend a click to trash their own ice so like it's sometimes better than ice destruction um because of that fact nice and uh, that's and why got bad pub, and, it, and that's why the bad pub is really bad like if they've put a, a cheap piece of ice that only costs one credit to break or two credits and you've got two bad pub like they have to trash that ice um if you're getting through it for free yeah nice and and like you say i mean this is like clicking for two credits but we're, we're getting additional value from that because firstly we're we're Hashiko, so making runs is is usually pretty good. We've got free copies of Dreamnet, which um which uh, I know you find really important in in Hashiko, and I'd agree. Yeah. Um, and then we've got things like Amakua, where we can really punish um 
corpse for for not resing ice or not being able to res ice because all of a sudden our amaku is at like five strength and and ice is ice is meaningless right at that point pretty much I think there is maybe a change in the current kind of situation of cards at the moment that I would maybe think about trying tonight. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I'll run it past you. I was having a think. I just got, I actually got rolled. Uh, I had a, um, a GNK and I got rolled by that Warroid Tracker PE deck. Mm. And I was like, do I want a Miss Bones instead of those two juices or is the draw important? So. I'll throw that to you because I mm. I feel like a Miss Bones with labor rights could be very nice, um, and just totally shit on uh, any go wide strategies. It is a strategy. it is a high value card. I mean, Deuces has the additional bonus that you've got the you've got the tag removal. Mm. Um, so it's that's a tricky one, and maybe we can you know maybe there's I could just put scrubber maybe there's in, like... other options. Yeah, scrubber's probably yeah. not as great there. Maybe just an an imp would be better, but maybe our MU becomes a bit of a problem at that point. Yeah, but... I do um... want to put um, a chisel in as well. I want to. Uh, I'm not that sold on fencer. Uh, I would take fair. the fencer and put a chisel in uh, at the very least. Interesting. What are you? What are you chiseling? Um, Chisel's particularly good for Asha. So Asha is okay, an yep. annoying kind of ice to deal with. Um, and locking you out of HQ or making it really inefficient can be annoying. So the Chisel's basically there for that. And Afshar's getting that bit of play. Interesting. Interesting. You see, I was, I was like... So like... Yeah, you just, you just face check twice into um, Afshar instead with Chisel. So Yeah. I was also... Um... I was looking at this and I I remembered that there's no Paladin Puemo in here, which would be the the include, which I think is is like interesting. Yeah, I think yeah. Let's put a Paladin in. Let's take the Fencer out. I, I definitely don't like the Fencer. Um, yeah. Um, let's put in a Paladin, and I'm I I ran at the GNK. I ran forty six cards, and I like I often deck out with this card this deck, so I'd be more than happy to play forty six here. With a chisel, yeah. I guess this it's uh... a kind of a tribute to Vale as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very nice. Uh, we could also like wreck people who are playing endless Eula with this, so that's always fun. Um, okay, right. Let's uh, let's whack up a game here. Uh, recording. Um. I'll just put that. Um, so yeah, I'm go. coming up. I, I think I've had about 150 games with this deck now, and I'm still running. Like I'm a, you know, you know, an average decent player, I guess. Um, but like for me, I'm I'm sitting at about 76, percent which is pretty good for me. I'm I'm pretty happy with that, and across the whole field. Um, that's that's pretty yeah. solid for any deck, like. Yeah, gotta feel good about that. Um, yeah, it's it also higher, like it's, it's it's a style of deck which um which I'm not totally um I don't play very well because it's very much kind of a control deck essentially, isn't it? Um, mm, yeah, hundred <clears> percent. <throat> and I'm not a particularly good control player, so it's uh it's kind of great to get. <clears throat> your perspective on what you'll do each turn. Yeah. Because it's far, it's think, usually quite yeah. different than mine. Yeah, definitely. I think, I don't know, I always, like, in these kind of card games, I find, like, I call it just mindsets. You've got to have these mindsets, like, when you're taking in a deck, and there's, like, these, like, kind of key things that you do, um, you know, in certain decks. And I think one of the key things in this deck is like being very aggressive at the start and just getting them to res ice and pinning them down before you show anything. And like often that is enough to win the game where they go low, not knowing what's coming up um, and you can kind of punish them from there on. Yeah, like I these, think I, games... I, re I remember you saying sort of last time 
last time we played this I, I remember you talking about diversion of funds and how you'd not normally kind of uh you'd really save those up and i think that's that's a kind of style which mm. i uh i kind of don't usually yeah. think about here hello future bar ram woo here you may have noticed that i have placed my face over the cards in this game good for you i didn't notice that for the first two games that we played today but don't worry i've gone to a massive amount of work to edit over the cards so you'll still know what's happening uh in the games so well done back to the game um okay we're playing neh we've got a, a card which is uh which is very good against neh i'm just gonna turn where's my miss bones system. though mate well <laughs> yeah um okay yeah so are we keeping this um i, I think this is a keep um okay. i i have this thing like i was just talking about mindsets my mindset is if i get a moshi in my first hand i keep it like, oh that is uh i am far <laughs> my this is uh, Bing is well known in the drop bear layer for playing free moshing in any deck, uh, including criminal shape. You name it, like yeah, there'll be free moshing yeah. in there. Like, okay, right. What are we doing here? Um, so are we, are, are we going to dirty laundry server one and uh, find out if it's a spin top? -top? I think it's yeah. I think it's a bit of a risk. I think we just click one draw. Um, Campbell? Yeah, uh, let's. I think. I don't know if we. Yeah, okay, let's gamble and then run R and D. Uh, we we definitely don't want to run HQ because we want to uh, wait. Um, Pop up window. That is not is gonna. Gone? That is not gonna cost them money. I guess we're paying one to go through here, right? Yeah. We turn on uh, Hashiko here. Steel agenda. We just that good. Um, and then I think we probably just sure gamble. Um, I like yeah. Let's just see what there is. Like I doubt it's a Rashida. I think it'd be very greedy to play Rashida with nothing else on the board. Yeah, I think that's a that's a pretty fair sort of analysis. Well, there's a spin doctor. Like I doubt server one is a spin now, so I wonder if it's something like a. It might just be like a pad campaign, which oh, well they're icing it up, so that's interesting. This is good. This gives us another target to see if we can get them to spend some money. Mm -hmm. We actually desperately want uh, a hijack router now, so yeah. I think we probably should get pretty. Uh, I think we draw and then look to moshing uh, straight away, probably. Uh, that's very good as well. Um, so we kind of want to keep patchwork here. So I think what we do is patchwork, yep. dirty laundry, throwing uh, out yeah uh, archives, and then throwing out the labor rights. And like, I think we'd just be safe here. Run archives. And I think we're happy to just pin them back to one here. So we'll play the, the mining accident. And it's like, we kind of want that. We don't, like if both varieties are good for us here. So yeah. Okay. I think right, that... a hijack router will be enough to pin them. So we're just going to keep on drawing at the moment until we can find that okay right we don't oh, get yeah, hishiko what? uh yeah. we didn't access any cards because oh, uh, they they shuffle back, they shuffle back yeah, yeah. That's annoying. okay so uh draw that's good uh draw okay there it is yeah uh so I think we probably run. Let's play this first, and then run server three, just in case it's like. Am I patchworking out the steel skin for for draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then checks over uh, three. Yeah. So DBS. Daily business show. Um. Dun, dun, dun. This is debatable. Like I kind of want them to spend their credits. Um. I think we leave it and we'll we'll come back for it. Yeah, I think I think that's kind of fair because like we probably like we might trash it next turn, especially if we get something like a dirty laundry, then we could trash it next turn yeah. and they've just had to spend two credits on it. They're gonna really yeah. struggle to to bring their credits up. And mining <laughs> accident. If we get a mining accident we can get some discounts. Yeah. And, uh, so I think we draw once. It's another motion. Then... I think we probably don't need to Kyoban here. So we'll, um, yeah, so get rid of the steel skin, the MK, and the one of the Kyobans. Alrighty. Oh, uh, wow. We'll get, yeah. I think I think we want to dream net down, and then we'll do our run. Uh, we've only got two clicks left. Do you want to hit live rights this turn? Because if so, we need to run first. Uh, I don't want to hit labor rights. Uh no, sorry, not labor rights. Um oh I thought that was a a um uh what did I think it was? Uh are we patchworking anything here? We patchwork yeah, the patchwork? Patch, patchwork and patchwork, yep. And then And then I think archives is fine. We'll just get some flips here if we can. Uh, uh no. we're not trashing right now. We see him a virus yeah, and fine. a boom. Yeah. And we draw a diversion. Okay, what are we... And actually, then... the chisel is quite good here. The chisel is actually very good. <laughs> what are we... <clears throat> so, like, I think we've probably got the engine up that we probably don't need moshing now. And I think we've got enough control that we can probably drop that moshing. Yeah, I'd agree. We're going to get, we like... We're going to draw two cards a turn. Yeah. Whatever happens. So I think the dream net's pretty key. So we've got, like, the only... There's no real ice that we're really super worried about um, at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I think... Let's put the hippo down, trashing the paperclip. Yep. And then let's run server one. Because we yeah, want to just get... still don't know what running. this is, right? This is, like, so yeah. suspicious. Um, are we um, breaking here? Uh, um, so it's going to cost us five. And then another one. We're going to go six. Yeah, I think we, tra we trash this. We just, we hippo this. this yeah. Fine. Yeah. yeah. We see a San San. Are we getting rid of that? Nah, we leave it. Like, if they res and they get one score off that, that is so good for us. Like, version yourself, please. Um, and then we're not going to do anything else this turn, so we just draw one. Yeah. And then we, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Sorry, cool. <laughs> I, uh, I've, I've hit it now. But... I was just wondering whether we saved credits. Like, we could we could save the shore gamble and patchwork it next turn, but I think we've right. got enough. Like, we can put a chisel under patchwork. I was just trying to make sure that we're going to get a patchwork trigger next turn. Yeah, I can see that. Um, we're also going to draw like, a so card you... at the start of turn, right? So, yeah. And yeah, like the at at worst, we can chisel this pop up window and feel pretty good about the inclusion of chisel yeah. already. I think before we do that, we probably want to, like. Okay, we talked about it. Do we think this is a buy, uh, a Walroy tracker? Because <laughs> what are you defending? Oh, is, that, uh... is that a deck? Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I, I, Walroy tracker is everywhere right now. And that is my immediate reaction is like, what are you protecting a Sansan with? And I would be protecting it with a Walroy tracker. Yeah. 
like I guess we can go check it. I think what we want to do is I think we actually want to draw click one. Okay. Uh we get a raptor. Yeah, so let's let's go take some credits away. So let's run archives. Popping the uh, yeah. router? Yeah, yeah. And then that's fine. And we'll put another router down, crashing the MK. Yeah. And then, um, what are we trashing here? So we've got one patchwork free. Um, is there anything we can play? We don't we really put a want cube to in here, but I like. Yeah. I don't know how you feel I don't about really it. want. I don't want to show them that in hand anyway. Um, I think we run. Or we put the chisel down. I'd I'd prefer to drop the card to be honest. Fair. Uh, yeah. So I think we run server one or four. I think let's go one, and we'll just just before they ice it, let's just check it. So let's see the new car first. It's a post true dividend. They were just trying to be cheeky. Are we? We're still leaving yeah. this sand sand right in a moment. Yeah, leave it. Leave it. Okay. Uh, throwing yeah, out Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they're over installing a card here. So potentially. I reckon, I, reckon I reckon they're flooded and depressed at what's happening in this game. <laughs> <laughs> potentially. Uh, yeah. we, uh, we have a juices. Yeah, I think we want to, again, like this is the crazy thing. I think we draw um, before we play that as fuel. Okay. Um, We've got our disgusting turn yeah. lined up at some point. Um, There's no point doing diversions at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to just bleed. We're just going to put that hijacked um, out of its misery, run archives. Yeah, awesome. To uh, they're just they're saying be right back. So I'm just going to okay. give them a second. So we've got <clears> a bit <throat> of an overdraw draw problem here. Um, we want to keep the juices for tags if that comes up. Diversions are pointless with the sand sent out. Um, we might just throw the chisel down actually on HQ. Yeah. And well, are uh, we putting see, down? We're I guess we're putting oh, down right, another router, around. aren't we? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What so are we gonna we... trash to it? <sighs> I think maybe the labor rights, unfortunately. Oh, we pick up a news team. Um, unless you want to... Nah. We're probably going to hey. run HQ again, aren't we? So. Yeah, I think I think we can take that out. Yeah, add, uh, add that. Alrighty. So play, play that down. Trashing the... Uh, labor rights. Yeah. And then I think we just gain a little bit of control with the Mamie. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense why they overinstalled in server four last turn because they wanted to get that yeah. news team into the bin. <clears throat> so we we do kind of want to labor rights back. The hijacked routers, like we maybe should have kept that, but um, because there's like we've got two diversions out and we've got three hijacks out already, mm -hmm. so I think what we're probably doing is testing HQ first click, and then if they don't res, we're gonna probably put Kaiben and 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 start punching through. Would you ever? Oh, you want to? I know you want to keep this for tags. Would you ever consider like deuces for the expose here? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good play, isn't it? 
Yeah, maybe that that maybe that's worth it. Look at this hijack router doing a bit of work here. We can do a little search for hijack router at the end, and I I think I mean. Like, it hasn't forced them to lose a, lose a bunch of credits, but I reckon that they probably aren't going as wide as they as they want to be because of it. Right, they have uh, two do credits. Get, do we get greedy? Let's put the Kyoban down. Let's be super greedy here. Okay, so on I the HQ? They're not resident. Yeah. Even if I it's don't... a pop-up, it's fine. Yeah. Um, and then and then run HQ. I just I think two credits is not enough to do it. It is uh, IP block. Uh, IP block. We can trace through that for two. We can trace for it for technically zero. Yeah. So I think we just I don't trace, think right? We need to install. Yeah. Um. This is kind of disgusting that we get to run through this for free now. Yeah. But equally, like, like this is this is what you're saying about the Kaiban. Like they have to re they have to res this IP block, otherwise we're running yeah. through it for for plus money. Um, okay, they're on biotic. They're a million miles away from playing that. We draw a stargate. I think we we do like they're at zero now. Um, mm -hmm. So let's play the chisel and let's yep. soften R and D and let's just go for stargates here. Uh, 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 are we throwing anything out here? Yeah, let's throw out the steel skin. We'll overdraw. I think we're looking for black orchestras. That wow, there we go. Exactly. Yeah. And um, then, uh, run R and D, and we'll just trash that. And then, because they're on zero now, we see um, another sound sound. No hope of basically doing anything. We just uh, just get that stargate and bring <clears> them back with diversions. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the kind of game state that this gets into, right? Where this is this is now like any time that they're gonna have money. I mean, we potentially have to check what they've got here to to stop them ducking it, but Divergent's gonna do so little. Uh, what do you think this is? And an NGO is the only thing that maybe makes sense, but I think so. I think that would be pretty awesome for us to bait out now if it is an NGO, because we can just diversion right back. Yeah, but I think oh, that's disgusting. Um, Let's do that. Let's run server one. Uh, pop up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We'll pay one. This is good because we want to spend those Mamie credits as well. Okay, so now the question is, do we want to uh, trash this yeah, Sansan we... San to stop them ducking? Uh, I think we have to. And then, yeah, play the... Like, oh, they put another sand... Like, they, we saw another sand sand on top. Yeah. So, can we I don't know if they put... Check? I don't think they let's put it out last five. time. Cool. Oh, they put... Didn't they put... Yeah, I think... Let's it's just probably worth checking at least one of these. It's like the third spin doctor, oh. which is great if we're yeah. considering yeah, like stargating. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then I'm happy with that risk to now just diversion. We've got another one. They're going to yeah. spend all their money anyway. So let's just Fine. diversion. Uh, we might have to actually install the paperclip, which we can just about afford to do because otherwise they can duck the money with the trace. Yeah. But we. I think we, um... I think we can do it because we've got patchwork here. Yeah. So yes. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about patchwork, which makes it even more, even more doable. They probably res what's here, back. I guess. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we're still gonna steal four credits. <clears throat> so we do have the hijack router, um, as well. So then they're like their last priority now is like putting ice on R and D just because like it doesn't like feel like a good play for them. Yeah. Um, so yeah. 
Oh, they get around the hijack router, which is nice. <laughs> By having zero credits. That's that's true. I <laughs> I never thought about the fact <laughs> that you um you can't lose you can't lose nothing. We kinda want our chisel back now. Um I can get it. Okay, right, dirty laundry, which feels pretty good. Uh we know that there's yeah. no spin doctors on board anywhere, so Yeah, I think we I think let's uh go check that server six with the, the dirty laundry. Cool. I'm going to use um, the Mamie credit score it. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's thinking. Cool. And then I think uh, we just get that Stargate down. Ooh, it's a checkist. Um, yeah. Do you want to trash it or just leave it? Well, oh, I think we trash it. it. No, no, but I think we trash it so that it doesn't, because then they can't overinstall it. Like they have to make a new um, new yeah. server. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, so we've got um, um, deuces to get rid of tags. So. I think let's uh, Stargate, put Stargate down, pop it, and then we'll decide what we do. For the last uh, should we patchwork something? Yeah, get rid of the, the moshing. Moshing. Uh, hit Stargate. Yeah. San San Bologna Hedge Fund. Yeah, I think we get rid of the Bologna. That puts us on five. And then and last then, click deuces. Uh, just don't even know if we. Yeah, I guess we do. Just in case this is Rashida, you know, like there's there's that slight yeah. slight chance. Um, just gain. Do you want to draw cards and remove think, a tag or gain three? I think gain three and remove a tag. We do just want to, like, we may want to. Um, we've got two more mining accidents in here as well, haven't we? Like, yeah. Okay, it's a good thing we move remove a tag just in case. Like I, I don't know if they could get money, but like a gaslight when we've got a tag is is potentially scary. Survey so pop a gaslight in server one. I think we can also punch HQ a lot here. Like we get free runs on HQ. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, they had so... um they had a market forces, so so keeping the tag would have been like pretty bad all right yeah let's uh go stargate just in case there's something there straight away yeah we know all spin doctors are out so uh there we go yeah. um oh I we do need it doesn't matter well, it doesn't i think matter, you put it, it in the, the bin put it in the bin and we just run archives but yeah Um, uh, oh, I'll just, I'll boost this just so that we can be really rude and we can pop the hijack router on the way into the bin. Oh, actually, does it replace cards? Uh, no, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't just like, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a well, 15 minutes in there uh, as well. That is, um, symbolic of this game, you know, this, this deck ending on zero <laughs> credits with like no ice res basically. Um, yeah, like we've got, like they have no board state. They have zero credits. Their ice is, I mean, this is completely meaningless. This is basically meaningless. The other ice has gone. We've got a turtle coming down next. Well, I guess we probably don't play turtle because of IP block, but yeah, but this yeah. is, you know, and we're, yeah, then the we're, here is like, yeah, is yeah. Yeah, like we've got another diversion. Like, like they they're not going anywhere for, you know, like five six turns. I don't think. Like, I at think, the very most. Yeah. yeah, totally. And like this is like it plays out a lot like this where you, yeah, you keep them on the ropes, um, like Greasy Thumb says, and like sometimes yeah. they yeah they just don't they don't uh they don't score an agenda because like from the very start of the game you put them at zero and you keep them at zero so like there's there's so many games where they they don't score an agenda in case um so yeah so that felt uh pretty good and like so i know what you're saying about miss bones i think that my thing i think i'd say is that you already have hijacked router which is a great tech card against most asset matchups 
Yeah. And like, I think the the one thing that Miss Bones deals with better than anything else is specifically the like the warroid tracker. Yeah. Um, things. I yeah, wonder like one whether. Thing. Yeah, I wonder whether a single light the fire would be a better option there. Oh yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, maybe that would be actually free influence as well. Uh, yeah, I think we mulligan this hand. I think, like, you know, it's good to have turtle. Like, oh, turtle that's, doesn't... I mean, that's such a hand to mulligan into. <laughs> <laughs> that'll that'll do. Yeah. Hopefully, they give us like a Hishiko access here as well. Oh, yeah. we do. Right. Okay. What are we doing here? Yeah. I think. Let's just go Shaw, Dreamnet, run R and D, and then follow up probably with the uh, another hedge. Wow, uh, still a tiny bit risky to me, but okay. We see a trebuchet, and then I'm definitely going to hedge here because I'm yeah. very scared of. Um... I think we go up to twelve. Like if they spend a hard hitting news, I'm pretty happy. They I'm I was thinking cards. more like econ econ hard hitting news, which is always a. Oh. Uh, always an option spend all spend all of your cards and your yeah. credits to do that yeah. and like they're out of the game i'm pretty happy okay uh, we okay, um so, we draw a moshing yeah draw uh, actually we can we can yeah okay that's oh. that's good that's better uh so dirty laundry archives oh yeah because we get our card and credit oh there we go that's just more what we're looking for um right? Like, we could have put Amakor, but I think we'll just wait until next turn. Uh, I don't... Like, maybe a Chisel. Maybe a Chisel is going to be useful this matchup. Chisel is only going to be good against Border Control. Asha. And Asha. <laughs> Most and outfits don't play Asha. Out. It's pretty bad yeah. in an outfit. I think, we, I think we moshing then. So let's moshing um, the Steel Skin, the MK, and the Chisel. And we'll just set up for next turn. And then... Uh, Let's get the hijacked because we'll get a free credit. Oh, like we get a. Uh, yeah, okay. Paladin. I think I think right. Paladin. Like they're only ever going to make one one server, right? Yeah. Our um now our our slight thing with this matchup is that our we have three cards which are kind of dead or very scary to play because like do we do we ever want to play our mining accidents? Probably not, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I I definitely don't think we we prioritize them. I think we we've definitely got to get Amaku down and just run three times on archives. Okay. Um, uh, so let's do that now. Yep. Yeah. And then yep. Yeah. Keep credits high. Oh, we can go again with uh, think... dirty laundry. Or do you want it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We we don't really care. We're gonna. And so, like, this is the other side of the control game, isn't it? Amakua is kind of like the classic uh, other control. Like, it pretty much just controls all other eyes. Yeah. Now, there I is think... a chance that they're on the virus because because they might, like, because they're probably fast advanced. But, um, yeah, I think we'll we see. risk... Do we go back to one um, counter if we hit the virus now? Uh, I think we go to... So yes, we we'll have one. Can we, yeah, yeah we'll I think one. we run it. We just want to make sure that it's not in there. Okay, you want to run server two first or archives? No, I would run archives. I think um, if there yeah, it is. There, okay, yeah. All right, and now we can see if server two is worthy of gaining um, counters. Okay. This is interesting, actually, because like. Okay, they don't want to trash. they don't want to shuffle back the my virus. Uh so don't trash. Uh yeah. run again. Do it again. Yeah. No action. And then run it again. Do we trash it this last time? No. Just take the counter. I think we want to um Okay. We want to We've get got... them to waste the turn uh purging. So I think we get rid of the paperclip. Yeah. Like I, the most I agree. important one. Because we're we're basically like trebuchet and bulwark of the other things that we're scared of, right? Like yeah. So we want to get up to six or or trebuchet, and I think we've seen one trebuchet already. Um, yeah. And 
I guess like mouseless is the only is is the mouseless is the um code gate that we're scared of but we are very nearly at that kind of level yeah. so let's okay. uh do server two again oh he's definitely gonna pop it this time yeah we probably should have run server three first uh so server three uh, just to just to point out that our opponent is a is a she, not a he. But oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a snare. Whoa. Um, do it. I think we don't <laughs> trash that, right? Um, we just leave it because then we get a an Amakua counter. Yeah, and we can we can yeah okay we don't, and then we potentially may have to get into a server. And we can take three damage to get the counter. <laughs> um, the okay, we up. we lost our black orchestra, which is great. We lost a hijacked route, and we lost a mining accident, which is perfect. Like that's that doesn't yeah. matter. Um, uh, okay, I think probably... I think a draw is good. We don't want to play hippo yet. We don't want yeah. them to start preparing. Uh, okay, just remove attack. Yeah, there's always a chance that we draw into deuces there, isn't there? Which would be nice. Like I'm. Starting to get tempted to hit that snare again, just so that I can. <laughs> that is that is true, true anarch mindset. Okay, we've got a Kayaban. We have all of our breakers in the bin, which is quite nice. So are we kind of hippoing here? What are we thinking? Yeah, I think I think we have to hippo get the paladin value, mm -hmm. and then we will. Where are we running? I think. So HQ is probably not the trebuchet, and R and D is probably the trebuchet. We saw the trebuchet on the top, and mm -hmm. that was after turn one. So we run HQ here. It's probably Mausolus. Uh, it's also a trebuchet, okay. but we're gonna we're gonna hippo that into the do, dust. This, do we? Yeah, we do this one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we see a boom. You want to trash it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, we going back? Um, yeah, I'm just seeing what we've got in the hand at the moment. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so, yeah, HQ. Econ Warfare. A little bit scary. Um... I think we might just have to credit. Yeah, I think There's I agree. We can do. Yeah. Um, we can throw out this MK Ultra. Uh, don't. Uh, yeah, I'd probably keep the MK and drop the Dream Net just just in case they had an arc lockdown. But well, we've already. I I I would have, but we've oh, already we got, got an M. Board. We've got one on the board, so. Okay, it looks like we're not getting punished, which is which is good. Um, we draw a third dream net. Um, so uh, we okay. can we can run archives for uh, like net neutral Amakua counters and still get our ability. Running is a little scary now. Mm. I think we, don't... we take an off. I think we take an off turn. Yeah, we fair. Just draw, draw. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. good. So patchwork down. Oh, sorry. Patrick oh, sorry. Down. I drew trice. Yeah, that's all good. And then um, we can trash, uh, and then install the hijacked router with that trashing the dream net, or yeah, the, yeah either or doesn't matter. Um, just click in heap. I just want to see. We've used three hedge shore gambles, haven't we? We've got one gamble left. We're a bit short on real money after that, which yeah. is which is where it's going to get start getting a bit scary. I think we draw. What we probably need to do is like start to pivot to something now. Um, so my virus is in the bin. I think we have to wait until we get some bad pub, unfortunately. Um, I 
What have we got here? We can force that down. Uh, just gain three credits and then drop the dream net. So what we're going to, the play we're going to try and go for is, um, yeah, this is getting harder. Yeah, and they're on free bad pub, which is yeah. which is where it starts to get a bit scary. We need to put a Kyoban down and use the bad publicity to get through something for free. Mm -hmm. um, so the Kyobans are going to become important. So we draw. We just want to get the value. Of okay, the that's now. that's actually like something we can get good value out of. Yeah, I think I'm for, like yeah. Let's 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 use it and patchwork the way of patchwork away. And we'll just go money and cards. I guess maybe, yeah. That maybe we should have exposed, but that's fine. We could right. expose. We it's it's like slightly scary to expose, like because we've yeah. then got to run somewhere. I guess we could run yeah. archives and jack out before we actually hit it. Technically. Yeah, and credit, credit, and drop the patchwork. So we're just like getting ready so that we don't get blown out by these econs. Um, it is kind of cool that we can get. Like, because money's irrelevant, but it helps us a lot. These mining accidents might become really useful. Um, like, we're not going to pin them to zero. Yeah, I guess. I guess once they're at four bad pub anyway, then. And so what we want to do is then their bad pub doesn't something... doesn't matter. Yeah, and we want to get like a weak barrier, so that we can get the Kyoban and potentially start making money on a bull. Oh, I don't, I don't know like if that. there is such thing in. Uh... <laughs> in <laughs> in outfit like i don't think there's yeah, gonna be we're gonna have five bad, bad pub right and plus the six for the bulwark true we're almost breaking it with barry um paperclip naturally that is and true. then we have the kyoban on top um yeah. so draw i think we can possibly run like they discarded a lot of cards last turn i i would i would be kind of up for running archives first first click yeah. Because we get a draw, we get a draw off it, and we're gonna flip. Just check if we've got any dirty laundries in there. What are we? Uh, we we've used all three dirty laundries, so like. Okay. I'm the, just I've... thinking that we're gonna probably draw this turn anyway, so we kind of want to see what the paladin can drop. So I think we're gonna be drawing anyway. So I think okay. draw and then run archives. Okay. It's interesting. Then run archives. You want to pop this route? Ah, uh, no, not yet. Okay, we draw a Mamie, which actually yeah, is, like, pretty good. good. Um, So, no. Oh, we steal a food. So, they're starting to get a bit flooded. All right. We don't want to die, though, to Econs. We also need... We've got Paladin at four. Like so, yeah, we so put, we probably want to run stargate somewhere, or we put the stargate down. Yeah. Yeah. Put the stargate down for free. Uh, do you want to put it down? Do you want to trash anything from? No, we probably don't actually. Uh, yeah, that puts the threat out. Yeah. And then we could just play this. We're gonna Mamie. flip to sixteen. Yeah. 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 We're gonna flip to sixteen, which is fine. So play the Mamie. Yeah. Oof. Nah, that's fine. We have one more hippo as well, which could actually be pretty okay. They're just um, econ warfare for uh, value, which is for value. For what else did they actually throw out? They threw out a border control. They threw out an audacity. Yeah, I think their hand is like their hand feels quite clunky, but they didn't overdraw here, which is interesting. Uh, okay, we draw a moshing, which is maybe not great. Think... Or it, or it might be. I don't know. This is this is actually very tough here. Um, they're probably going to score an agenda next turn. I think we go and force them to pop that that spin doctor. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is nice actually because if they do pop it, so they can't now econ warfare us unless we make another run. Yeah, and then I think we just gain three credits dropping the Moshi, and we'll just let that value tick up on the Paladins and the Mainies before we start pressuring. They're gonna probably score. Oh, okay. Okay, another spin. Okay, so third spin, which is really good for us considering we have a Stargate down. They are icing up. R&D a bit more, understandably. Yeah, I think it's the same play. So run, spin. Yeah, I agree. And, um, and just gain credits. We they also can't get the boom. They're icing up archives. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I wonder if they already got... No, so there's two booms in the bin. So yeah, so we can keep a good... I think they probably bring them back with with this or they bring one and a and a warfare back but let's find out um so first I click think... we're gonna challenge the spin yeah yeah i think our kyoban's getting really good here now that they've got these weak servers like archives like they could have put a potentially shit pit, like bad piece of ice there mm -hmm. um and so we might be able to soon take advantage of it but i think we again credit up Because we've only got 13 cards, like we can't really waste anything here. We just need to get yeah. max value. I mean, so interestingly, they, unless they find the third hostile, they're stuck at a like awkward free bad publicity. Yeah. Uh, we might have to challenge this though. Yeah, I think so. I think we're ready to challenge. We've got everything we need to challenge now. Um, the question is whether we want a diversion first to make it really difficult. Because I don't mind just like face checking here. But I think we I think we diversion. I think we want to get value on this and weaken mm -hmm. up that server and then we're gonna force them really low. Um so yeah, quick diversion. Take the Mamie down to two. Like if they res two ice here, um a, a magnet. Uh, we install and break. Yeah. Okay, that was free to get through, so that's something. Yeah. I guess this is something which we. Oh no, we can't put a. I was about to say that's something we could put a, a cuban on, but we can't because it's a magnet. Um. Nice that so we. Yep. Yeah, install the paperclip. Uh, am I losing the yeah. Amakua here? I, I think so. Like, I think we need everything else, and I think we don't want to get rid of Stargate. Um, do we want to... Uh, just check your heap. I think we're going to get rid of the labor rights, but just check we haven't got... Yeah, we'll yeah we haven't got rid of any of this. So we've taken seven credits off them. Yeah. Yeah. So they are letting not... this go through, which yeah, is really be... interesting. Because really we're going to run archive next. Okay, so now archives. now I run archives. Yeah. Oh yeah, because this if this is a bulwark, they won't be able to afford it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So run archives, and if they res bulwark here, it's great for us. Okay. okay, so pop this pop. bad boy. Yeah. virus does nothing to us now. Oh, that was and such now... a big swing turn. Now we go in seven? And... Yeah, and now next turn is Kyoban turns. Yeah, so run seven. It's exactly a bulwark, which they can afford, but that's fine. It actually only costs us six. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a trebuchet. But this is uh, a trebuchet, sorry. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm I'm amazed that um we're gonna have to maybe discard something from our hand, but I think well, how bad do you not wanna lose the Kayaban? So do you wanna I trash want a random to... card? Um no, I think we just need to check out our our heap. What do we have left to play event wise, which we're gonna get value from? Because we've lost two shores, three yeah. dirty laundry. Yeah, I think it's just and deuces, got... right? And in mining fact, it's only one. I guess. So we could uh, save it and then just get two more bad pub, but that gives them credits, which is bad. So yeah. I think we, 
I think we trash it. It's fine. Do we trash it? Yeah, let's trash it. So now what the play is, is taking advantage of archives probably with the Kyoburn. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're they're up to they're up to five bad pub. They've I know what you're saying, but I think I think yeah, no, no, taking advantage now. of oh, we got another Kyoban. So So okay, yeah, our, we, our we need to start putting is, on some real pressure now. Yeah, and our goal is right, Stargate. So we don't want them to res their R and D ice until they're at low credits, like until it's really annoying. So we want to force other servers like HQ. So mm -hmm. like Putting a Kyoburn on that outside HQ is kind of nice because we're not actually. Oh, actually, we get in there for free, don't we? I think um, currently, let's... yeah, currently we this yeah. is a free run. Yeah. So Kyoburn archives. Uh, we don't actually have any MU. Uh, we can trash the MK pretty reliably. It's fine. We can reinstall it. So run archives. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we okay. pulled a, a hippo, which is pretty good. So now the question is, do we want a double mining accident and give us seven bad pub? we can get through everything then and then just stargate or do we so much it's tempting um, i kind of want to i i feel like they've let's got go, let's go regulatory stargate. captures in i just feel like they've got regulatory captures in hq which is something to like bear in mind but i think yeah, i think we stargate one now yeah we, we're pretty sure one of the one of these is going to be a, a trebuchet but I think that's fine. We reinstall our MK for nothing. Okay, that's a good Kyoburn target now, that outside ice. Yeah. Um, do we? What do we trash it? Probably the Black Orchestra? Yeah, Black Orchestra. Oh, we just win. No, oh, we no, we don't win. Ah, oh, so okay. should I? Okay. Well, it's fine. it's fine. They've got an econ and a hard hitting news. Yeah, we can go and pick this up now, though, right? And we'll gain two credits from the Kaiban for getting it. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And yeah, let's do that. It's fine. Like, whatever this is, that it's we've got six bad pub and we're going to gain two. Um, I don't know if they can draw everything click and still be able to like blow us out here anyway with the hard hitting news to be honest no we've got 13 and a link and i think they've used all their too big to fails oh no maybe think... they've got them back this is going to be a red capture score so so now so they're on four i feel like I think... there's at least one other agenda in hand yeah yeah so do i i think um you want to stick down this I hippo think... and go I think we potentially put the <sighs> the hippo the best here. I think the hippo might be better just because yeah, it's think, it's think, no think... no MU. Yeah, and then what are we getting rid of the MK again? Yeah, so yeah, put the hippo down. Trash out the moshing. Oh, I guess we can. Do oh, that we, we've there. got we've got paladin. It doesn't for it. matter. Yeah. Um, go HQ. Yeah, we'll just go HQ as much as we can. Oh, wait, I need to discard that first. We can install. We can install it for one credit, getting rid of the moshing. Oh, this is gross now because they yeah. get in here for free. We get in here for zero credits. We could even play a uh, mining accent like last click. Of... Well, no, I, I think it's it's no, no. better to we not give them money. Here. Yeah, see, regula regulatory capture for win. GG. That is a great game. Um to have on on film because i 
when they're at, when they were at like 25 credits or however many i was like there is no like i'm at that point i'm thinking there's no chance i can ever get them down to a point where yeah. it's it's like our, our game plan's gonna work and you know i mean right now they are on six credits they are pretty flooded in hq i'm i'm sure that there is more than one agenda in hq there's probably another there might be another food there's probably a second regulatory capture because we weren't running they weren't able to gain enough yeah. bad pub um and all of a sudden they're at six credits they all of their serves are weak now like we get in anywhere and I think, here yeah if nothing. you look at yeah and i actually think if you look at every server it there's a threat on every server like hq we can run for free rmd yeah. we can basically stargate in for free and archives is giving us money like so like there's problems on every central and the hippo can threaten server seven so like they can't actually yeah hilariously here if we still had our amakua out then right now i would be running this snare for amakua counters because um (coughs) just like saying uh, can you pay for like like because i can't they can't pay for right now like i would i would literally be running it like four times like once couldn't you Yeah. yeah that's amazing actually it would just be like a really funny play like more yeah. for the memes oh, than anything but um yeah. but very good uh oh, that was that cool. felt that great. Was, um, it, it definitely this is a definitely a deck that is kind of fun to dual play as well because there's like a lot of uh a lot of ways you can go and sometimes having the other voice is kind of nice to, to be able oh to bing <laughs> i think my face has been over all the cards i didn't move my face Right, I'm gonna. I need to check this recording. Uh, if I've screwed this for a second time, I'm gonna be, be so absolutely furious with myself. Um, so furious with myself. But we can do one more game. I was it. Right, give me, give what me a second. I need to, it? I need to stop, and I need to. Oh my word! I moved it so that we, so that you could see. I moved yeah. it so that you could see the deck list when we started, and I thought to myself, I need to make sure I move it back. And I should have just not died in the first place. Yeah. Okay, welcome back. So uh, we're back to the most cursed recording ever, as I realised that my face was covering half of the screen for the last two games. Uh, hopefully I've gone back in and edited some of those and they are now watchable. I think it was just the programs which you couldn't really see. Um, it's probably going to take me like half a day to make these like viewable but it's it's fine it's it's not fine i'm an absolute bellend anyway i'm back with bing we're gonna play like another game with this this time my face is definitely not covering the cards all right how are we doing bing this will be our loss as well yeah yeah very good i think um we're 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 dual loss now (laughs) yeah it's gonna we'll probably get hard-hitting news like turn two and we'll be get boomed and That'll yeah, be. or we're gonna like roll into someone on something like prison ag infusion or something, which yeah, I would imagine that, was ah. a a beast. that last game was a bit of a beast as well. Like there was, it was it was really good, and I really hope that by this by the point that anyone's else is viewing this, I have managed to at least make that um that watchable because it was uh. Yeah, watching watching the corpse money disappear like that, and and not just any corpse, but the outfit, watching their money disappear was like fascinating, and that kind of think... the diversion, um, a, a router run the remote turn was, it was just such a swing. It's such a huge yeah. swing. Yeah, and you've got to you've got yeah. to kind of wonder because so they didn't pop the border control. And like that was one thing that said to me, okay, they are super flooded in hand because I like think if they pop it anyway, right? We don't care too much. Like I guess it opens them a window for for kind of maybe booming us. But we had another diversion in the deck, and once that border control's gone, like we're running through there free, and you know, like I, I think the right play was probably. But, um, yeah, I think it kind of I think I'm just not to give us 
not to give us the money as well is like mm. like they lose five i mean um that's so cool um hello future bar and we're again here uh so at this point um in our day we played against two fule decks uh the first one was someone who asked if we were right playing against a startup deck which um with hindsight uh i probably should have said no to uh just purely because although there's plenty of power in startup decks and um they're in general mostly on on a similar curve to some stuff in standard the one thing that corps in startup don't have to deal with is significant credit denial um we played the entire game um there were maybe two or three turns where they had more than one or two credits um the whole thing felt very unfair <laughs> um and hopefully we haven't put a startup player off the game for life um apologies to that player um anyway uh and then the second one was um uh looking to be a good game but unfortunately our uh, opponent had to leave uh, so we're going to skip to the last game of the day where we get to see a rematch let's uh jump back into that game like it does feel i, I always feel like it it gets to a point where we feel quite poor and we just come out of it like i i always get really nervous when you tell me to discard like the the sure gambles and stuff like that but yeah it does seem to um it does seem to work you know like i think it's the control side where you have like they can't be doing much on their turns because they're so low back and even when mm. they're at 10 credits that's actually pretty functionally low against this deck like it swings so quickly um so like knowing I... that and like if you've got a mamie and stuff yeah I think like the one uh, the one deck it would probably really struggle against is like the current Asmari with the Econ Warfares and Heart Hitting News and oh, the yeah. um uh like the artificial crypto crashes. Yeah. Just because like I think you couldn't necessarily Ah, oh, yeah. this is this is potentially perfect or like not. Um <laughs> hey, hey. So we've got oh, the, the same we've got the same game from earlier. Um so if this can if this is anything as good as last time then I think, then I, I don't have we, to edit it. I, I, you know, like I technically probably would keep this this hand actually. Yeah. So the reason there's, a, there's a chance that, that they don't respect diversion turn one, right? Yeah, and also like you if you force them to run on HQ res, like they could put trebuchet down, which does nothing with an open board state. They True. could have a bulwark. They could res the um, border control, which is like they're basically doing the stuff. There we go. Right, sweet. Yeah. This okay. Is, yeah. No. Click one. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Sure. It's happened now. Uh, do we also want to run to turn on Hashiko, or do you want to like draw first for yeah, Dirty Laundry? I think we, do we turn on Hashiko already or not? No, because we didn't access any access. cards. Yeah, I think we draw and like see if we can get a Dirty Laundry, uh, and then yeah, run uh, HQ. Okay, they already have one Econ Warfare in hand. We currently have the same amount of credits as them. We have less credits than we got hard hit in News Turn okay. Two. It did happen. I'm happy. Like, if they've got the boom, they've actually got everything. So, um, we... Uh, we lose a credit as well, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I think we just... Uh, four credits, and then next turn we'll remove three tags. So, yeah, four credits. Uh, drop that. Okay, they're drawing for it. You know, like if they've got it, they don't have it. Okay, just remove three. Um, or let's just have a little quick think about what we could do. Um, we could run this because it's if it's a uh, Rashida, then we actually want yeah. to get rid of it. 
Yeah, I think we do. Oh wait, yeah, that turns on. That's gonna turn it on as well. Yeah. The only bad thing would be. We could get second hard hitting news, but you know that's. Yeah, I, I think we risk it. I think it's a good good play to risk it. I think the spin doctor would be annoying, but that's fine because we don't turn on um, Hoshiko then. Yeah, it is Rashida, and we trash it for free, and then we yeah, remove free tags. Free tags, yeah, and we get two credits back. Feels good. See, this is what yeah, I was saying. Dig in, um, dig in. This is what it. I was saying in the 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 other game, whereas mm-hmm. like this is an acceptable risk for me usually. Like if they do it turn one, because they've got to have absolutely everything. Um, yeah. All right, so I think we just credit up to five, and we will do everything next turn. Okay, what are we throwing um, out? It's a good question. I think the hijack router. Um, yeah. And then we short gamble and, and start playing. All right, cool. Let me play credits. So short okay. gamble. Just uh, potentially just wait a second because we could put Dreamnet in to get a draw. Just seeing if we could trash anything. I think we are going to trash the Kyoban. So patchwork. Play the Dreamnet. This is a bit risky, but... Oh, shit. We got a tag. Oh, yeah. Do you mind if you ask to undo that click? Ah. Uh. Sorry, uh, we had a tag. <laughs> if we undo that one, <laughs> we'll keep the patchwork and keep the fidelity of the just so there's one click. Uh, okay. just, like, we don't we don't get the value, but we'll take that as punishment and then just run R and D. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, leave the tag. Uh, You want to leave the the tag? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we don't need to to remove it. Like, there's not anything that's really punishing us. Spin Doctor, Um, we might as well trash it. Yeah, so trash, yep. And then just credit. You want to draw a card in case of uh, end of a line? Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Just in case, that, like, that? like, I don't know. I I'm have so no out, idea. I'm so but... out of this stuff, yeah. <clears throat> I think, like, not, yeah, it's, it's I mean, point. yeah, like, you know, not potentially losing right then and there. Okay, value can warfare, warfare. Yeah. That is okay to a point. All right. Um, what are we doing here? It's getting tough. I think we have to just gain four. Is this yeah. too slow? I, I four. feel. I feel. I think you're right though. Yeah. Like I. I don't see a better. A better option here. It's just so slow against this fast advance deck. Like they're gonna start punishing us here. Okay, you want to check this? Um. Just one spin in the bin. One in the bin, one removed. I, I think I, I think I just want to play the dream net now. Yeah, play the dream net. If we play the dream net, we have to remove the tag. So I I think we're gonna do that. Like, are they gonna hard hitting us? Maybe, but that's okay. Probably by now. Uh, chucking out a Kaiban. Yeah. Running archives. Because if this is a spin, they res, hopefully. Okay, there's one boom there. Mm-hmm. We see um, a virus. Um, okay. Yep, so remove tag. And gain a credit, I guess. 
two e- two econs are out so yeah so i think gain of credit like sometimes i'd actually be oh we're gonna gain money from hashiko anyway so yeah okay never punished excellent right all right so draw we just ah yeah. oh, that's what we wanted last turn <laughs> yeah juices and... tracking the steel okay gaining three i guess we have we run we haven't run have we no not so yet i think we expose an ice just let's get some intel on hq it's a border control border control you want to run, um, run this or archives? I think, like, do we... Yeah, uh, I think runs... Oh, no, he has snares, right? So we don't want to run that. Uh, oh, true. Yeah. It's a she. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. Do we archives? Well, we could run... Actually, no, just run we could HQ. just run HQ, run... right? We've got four bad yeah, pubs. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, that was meant to be HQ. Um, I'm just going to do this. This is an easier way. There we go. Like, at very worst, we just install our uh, paperclip for free. Um, do you want to keep going through? Yeah. I think so. Just just pay one. We can give him a. Do you want to give him a credit? Uh, like it swings pretty quickly. Um, no, I think we pay it. It's fine. Steal a red capture. Yeah. Um. All right. Have we? We haven't patchworked yet. Either have we? Or did don't we think so, no. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh it didn't give me the option. No, no, we patchworked the um oh, steel skin. Oh yeah. We, okay, cool. we, we, we patchworked. Um it. all right, so put the Mamie down definitely. And put down the Oh we, we could put we this better... Do you want do you want to Kyoban this border control? Oh yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's do that. Let's do that. Don't like doing it last click, but um yeah, it's actually probably not the right play because they put ice in front of it and then they just pop it. Whereas, like, if we had left it... Yeah. Yeah, um, maybe true. Uh, right, we're going to take a bunch of tags. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Oh, that's, that's actually pretty good. So we can play that for about... I think do we want to? We don't want to turn it on yet. Let's uh, let's. We don't want to get hard. How many hard ending user in there been? Two, I think. They. Oh uh, no, just one. Okay. They shuffled some back. Yeah. So yeah, definitely hedge here, and then just remove three tags. Uh, what are we throwing out? The moshing. Oh no. Uh, yeah, moshing. And we can pay for that as well, and then we will remove three. We probably lose these. But I think that's okay. That slows them we down if they do. 21. Oh, they're at red. Okay, they're at red capture score. So this is actually like pretty terrifying now. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're getting low though, and we're in an interesting position. I think. All right. So don't have breakers yet, which is an issue. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna okay, so let's labor rights then. Let's just do that. Okay, we got an MK Ultra, which is excellent. So uh we also one lost labor. Yeah. Put one steel skin. And put yeah. I like the deuces, maybe. Yeah, deuces, yeah. Okay, oh right. that would have that would have been better for dealing with the border control. Yeah, I think we I think <laughs> yeah. we I think we messed up with the Kyber there. Yeah, sorry, um, that was on that was on me. That's all good. Let's go. Um... Let's go draw. Okay, let's go dirty laundry. Mm hmm. Throwing out something? Uh, yeah. Let's throw, throw out one hippo? Chisel. chisel? I think we throw out the chisel. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. 
go archives and then just remove the tag. All right, we've got four bad pub. So we can actually start pressuring every central now. We kind of want our Stargate to get them off that last raid capture. Mm -hmm. um, we yeah, we could, so we can food. stick down we can stick down a hippo. Oh, that's perfect. So that's our last yeah. break of it we want. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so maybe we put down a hippo so, first and then go HQ? Um, yeah, that looks good. Um, okay, that's, that's a big boy, but we're going to get rid of it. Yeah, that's fine. Trash this. They have to trash this. Yeah, this makes way like they should technically pop this now, which is hilarious. Yeah, they do. Yep. Um, and then we haven't. Yeah, so run HQ. We're not really. Ah, sure. damn it! <laughs> uh, I, at least I, I, I just said that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, That's fine. I think we hit a steel skin, so. Um, yeah. we just remove the tag here. Um, I think so. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. We we want to gain a credit. No, we want to draw. We want to draw because we want diversions, and we want um. Okay. Yeah, actually, if I track our dream net, we've got another one in hand. We put it straight back down. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's got. This is also slowing down. Oh, this is actually, yeah, yeah. So, so this, I, I like this. Um, okay, right. we've got, uh... and we've got five credits. All right. So, so also now, now more... their bad pub, any more bad pub is bad for them. Like, which is, which yeah, is yeah. excellent. And we've got that hijacked. Remember, just sitting. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah. let's go HQ. Okay. Uh, okay. Just, just think about this for a second. Um, okay, we can install that definitely first. So use the patchwork. How much does it cost to break? Nine. Yeah. I think we might let it fire and then just use the credits to go through and just spend one real credit to get an access. Yeah, we're gonna probably or, lose our patchwork, but is I, that maybe that's I okay? I think that's fine for not spending. Wait, are we gonna get? Wait, let's just think about this. Are we gonna get more value keeping the patchwork? Oh, we probably are, aren't we? Well, uh, like... well, whether we get not, do we get nine credits worth of value? I don't know. Like that would mean it needs to fire for five turns. The so maybe is, maybe we don't. Maybe we leave it because when we diversion, then we can run through this for free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let it fire. Um, let it fire. I don't know if we need to. I guess they've got globals as well, which could be in there. So maybe we just do spend one credit here. Uh, yeah. I think we definitely we definitely spend a credit like. Um, oh, we in don't fact, we don't need to. We've got a link. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Rashida? Yeah, I think we trash that. Like, we're reducing their hand size as well. Hmm. You want to um, run R&D? I think we potentially pop that uh, hijack router. Don't give them credits. Yeah, that's true, sorry. And then run archives. Yeah. yeah, run archives. Let's put them, like, so they can't score out red captures. Yeah. And then they can't even, they probably, they can hard hitting use us, which would be annoying. One, two. Oof. Okay, we survive. Okay, they do now have seven bad pubs, so we nearly get through this HQ for nothing. Yeah. All right, this is getting a little bit hairy on the econ front. Just check heap for a second. 
we we desperately need our diversion. Um, yeah. While we don't have anything, so let's draw. Oh, but they can pay the trace. Yeah, they can pay the trace. Uh, I guess we can. Oh, now we want our patchwork. <laughs> right. um, um, just gain three. Let's. We've just got to get ready for that. That turn, and then I don't think we're playing the patch, so just drop the patch. I think we may potentially potato the dream net. Oh, but do we need MU? Yeah, get rid we of the mining accident. We might need MU. Mining accident. Get rid of the mining accident. We don't need that. Okay, we're still this drawing is... cards, which is good. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against I wouldn't be against just running through this trebuchet a couple of times and seeing if they boost into the trace. I guess we yeah. we probably have to check this first. Yeah. So like we're definitely gaining a credit sure gambling. And then the question is, oh I wonder if we should have played patchwork there just to get the all the tempo on the I don't think we can do. I don't. I don't think we can do that and play the gamble. No. no uh. Oh yeah. True. True. I think we have to check this. Whatever this okay, server sure. seven is. Let's check it. Like any of their big ice. This is actually fine. This costs us two credits. We now oh, get we, through. No. 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 We let it. Let it. Let it fire. Right. Um, and then we just let it fire. I'm just thinking that we're now at because the we... point where we're actually, if if they don't trash our MK Ultra, we can get through HQ each turn for one credit. Yeah, like if they're not scoring out of hand, like they don't have the red capture in there, right? They've got globals at at the best. And so globals can't be scored. So we don't really need to go and find them. Like, we don't need to push that point at the moment. Our point is, like, we need to get the Stargate down and pressure mm. R&D so that they don't get the red capture and the last okay. one. I'm letting it fire. Um, so I don't think we care. We're going to install this for free, basically, anyway. Well, yeah, but then we don't break for free. Um... Yeah, I just don't... I just don't think we need to. Yep, so pay six. Oh, we don't have our link anymore. That's a shame. We're going to get the access here. Yep. Okay, still above still the wall. Still above the wall. Okay, um, I'm tempted just to run R&D, just to keep the top of R&D honest. Yeah. Make sure that it's not... Yeah, so just run R&D. And then it I think, clears the I way. I think for... The, uh, the one thing here is... Um, mouseless, but I think we're okay even if they res a mouseless. Spin Doctor, we might as well trash that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is all Spin Doctors out. Alright, so now we're in Stargate range as well because they were on seven credits. Okay, they're up to 11 with a hedge. They draw again. Alright, so let's see what we draw. It's nice. Um, okay, I think run R&D first, and we'll get the free installs of our programs if they res anything. You don't want to deuces to, like, gain money and run it. Um, I'm just thinking, like, are we going to have enough turns for a patchwork to become valuable? Because it's going to get two credits back. And we're going to get the steel. Possibly not. Tempo. I mean, the, the, the only so thing to do would be to ins yeah, install patchwork and then play the deuces to trash the steel skin so we get additional draw. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then we get our a diversions. That's the play. Okay. I think, yeah. So pop that down. Pop that. So we'll do that. Gain, Trashing gain that. Three. Gain three. Do you want to draw looking for diversions? think so and labor rights like because like we're at the end of the deck where we can just spam these okay well we got a steel skin to patchwork out next turn yeah um, um i think we run 
We probably run right because, like, they, I mean, I they might run, have right. the, the last trebuchet, but like, yeah, let's run R and D. That's the only anything else. That's the only care punish. Care about anything else? They're going to be on like nine bad pub. Okay. We steal an atlas. Very good. And then run R and D again, and we'll drop that patchwork down. I think the tempo off this patchwork is going to be make it worth it, even if we yeah don't. we see a Horton. That's absolutely and fine. And then yeah, drop a Dreamnet or a patchwork. Yeah, and I think next turn. I think we patchwork we out. We might. Yet. Mm. Oh, this is fine actually. So if we run this and we can patchwork out the MK Ultra using this, using the mm. like trashing the steel skin. Yeah. Uh, right, are we running the server? Where are we going? I'm like tempted to just run R and D first quick again. Um, like we can just get the win and just yeah, just run R and D. I'm also like interested to find out what's in. Yeah, there it is. GG. That again. So this is. I mean, ideally, I'll, uh, I might reach out to uh, to our opponent here because I kind of want to post both these games. Like they were both very, very different, but I think really showed off the deck in an interesting way because I thought that we were really far behind um, early on, and maybe they got a little unlucky because they were clearly drawing here for so. the wins. Yeah, I think they got unlucky in the sense that we got the red capture off that run that we ran through. Yeah. Which was big. Um, but they didn't really have a remote scoring plan, so they were just relying on on fast getting all the fast advance and us not finding anything. Yeah, and I don't know, like, we haven't seen an audacity yet. Like, we're, like, I love it. We never ran that server before, and it looks like it was a snare all along. Yeah. Um, I'm, like, pretty sure of that um but yeah like this was this was kind of fascinating because you're you're right like they they would have had to have a perfect five card start for for the for our like early aggression yeah. not to have paid off yeah um and i think i would have always been like way more caught like i definitely wouldn't have played the dream net um because i prefer to put the dream net down once with digital so that i get like the credit from it but mm. you know you do want the tempo of of moving forward so it kind of makes sense um yeah. like what's the rest of our deck like oh man the diversion's a million miles away <laughs> um yeah. so we won't get into that anytime soon but um but like even a hijack router is pretty breaking in this as well like it's yeah, like, guess, like they don't actually have that much. Like we could have put down the star, like the Stargate was going to come down. Yeah, I think I think I know, you know I was wondering about the Stargate. Like maybe it's right here because we like we just need to find one for the win. Like because we were on six points as well, so we could find anything gets us the win. So like maybe Stargate, but like there's also you know the chance that you run just you know like and you find either a trashable or or an agenda yeah. i have a like sneaky suspicion that maybe server seven was also an agenda there's a slight chance it's like the last rashida mm. but i think that's the only thing it could be yeah. so i think you know if we don't go r d then we very easily go server seven check that um like we floated one tag for most of this game as well and it was absolutely fine um yeah i often float tags and like i think it was good like even though they trashed that stuff it took them down to a risky like if we had diversions earlier we would have crippled them yeah the, yeah and i think that that um, that might be um that might actually be the term where where it started to look like it turned around because they kind yeah. of took an entire turn off um yeah, totally. like two cl two clicks four credits it's like yeah they're denying us tempo but they also weren't 
putting forward themselves at the time and so you know this is how they ended up with eight bad publicity where we're literally breaking a trebuchet with mk ultra for one credit which just feels ridiculous mm. um fun though like like we've we've done well today i feel like uh like we haven't had our um our just desserts served to us even though we've probably made some people's lives fairly miserable yeah it's kind like, of it's got a record six it has but i just can't play it so <laughs> so i've said this before but when if i try and play this like on my own if i don't have you in my ear yeah. then then i i fail with it very bad but the decisions it's so interesting the decisions that you take over me are very very different um and and like it's why yeah. like this deck only kind of works this style of deck even only kind of works in someone who who really understands what it's trying to do yeah 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 i guess it yeah i've i've kind of tuned it to match my play style as well like i love like run events and base, like run run based decks I definitely yeah play. Like I think the one that run all the time, like because yeah. like that's what the Al the Alice deck kind of did a similar thing in a way, like pressuring archives. You know, running a lot, yeah, kind of creating maps. Um, I guess it had a, a, a few different speeds though. Yeah, but I think it's it's got um, a similar kind of thing. I think the 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 one thing here is that it's not kind of like it's not leaning in on on diversion like really really hard even though it's spending a lot of influence on it like i think like we get i guess we got one diversion off last last game yeah. and it was it was like meaningful but not to um yeah i don't know yeah because like, like, they have steady credits by like i think what's yeah. really interesting is the kaiban chisel and amakua in terms of like the support package to the the conspiracies like, yeah they they offer so many options like you can slice Kaib in so many different ways and like how you play it and you can really take advantage of it um, yeah like even just as a, a two credit minus two credit like two foe mining accident kind of bad pub this on a nice um or or just like leveraging it hard for wins um and like the same with the chisel like we got rid of it a lot of times but there was like a lot of opportunities to to use it um on turns like we we decided there was better lines but um yeah i think like cards like that are really useful in terms of giving you options um, i think the the other card lines. which you could that could slot in this chisel slot would be hush and that would be yeah that's a kind of an interesting hush. one in terms of um in yeah, terms of kind same, of how it same works principle though yeah isn't it like where it's like in situational like games it's breaking um but like often you're just like patchworking it and like that's yeah. fine as well because i kind of feel like like um, chisel chisel is like like you say it's like really good against uh afshar it's really good against border control it's amazing against endless eula which is probably it's like potentially its strongest like case um but interestingly kind of hush deals with well, hush deals mm. with border control in in a different way, and and it also kind of deals with with Afshar in a way as well. Like you could, yeah, yeah. you can start like just going through Afshar without losing the two credits um, because it it doesn't have that text anymore. So, I think the other interesting thing with Chisel is like if you've got bad pub and it's like a too deep ice server and like you can't hippo it anymore or something like that, the Chisel allows you to. To like kind of get one of those ice out of the way that you yeah couldn't have um and like you can just like run through without like breaking the whole server so you functionally spend no credits to like put counters on it and trash it and then you can kind of you know get the next one down um and the other thing is that it can be labor rights backed where the hippos get removed so like it does give you some sort of late game kind of oh, i've got to deal with that have you ever considered uh, or have you tried playing like this deck or something very similar, but with with a a copy or two of En Passant? Yeah, actually, that was the other two. So when I was talking about taking out the juices and putting in the missed bones, yeah, I was going to take out both the juices and potentially take out the um, like the companions. 
and put on on persons but um because like the like the companions have been okay but they're not they're not the key engine in the, the deck especially at one-off copies um and like they kind of get redundant like they you kind of get to the end of like because it's a control deck there's a lot of times where you'll get to like the last few cards mm. and you've just got no more events or like programs to play yeah and so you're tracking them anyway um so like i'm not 100 percent sold on those two so they could um, like, be they could be something far more boring like daily casts just to make like yeah daily casts or i've thought about liberated because like liberated yeah rights is actually pretty good too like you know, i think also like li liberated with with patchwork is very it's it's the one card which i've been like oh i really wish we could like draw into a liberated <laughs> um yeah. and just and, like click just click up for for, for yeah. money you know and I think you saw, like, there's turns where you have to take off to, like, rebound. And I think, like, if you're clicking for credits, then you may as well be clicking liberated. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah. I wonder if two liberateds are maybe just better there. And, like, you're moshing them if you're going super fast. Or if it's slower, you've got the options. Um, I mean, it's interesting. Because at least they are they are very, they're, they're very cheap to install. And um, yeah. it would be fun to see how much how much money we actually made off them because they definitely kind of did work in in the games where we we played yeah. them but yeah it's uh it's an interesting one for sure i think right like playing that game one of the, the the mvps though and i don't think i can actually take about it is the juice is wild like the expose is actually super relevant yeah and billion able to play deuce is wild yeah. for zero zero credits is yeah. is actually like yeah. very sick like two cost cards are um yeah, are, <laughs> are the, the gravy in any patchwork deck um because yeah. they're just sort of the ideal thing um right i think we should probably call it there for the day we've we've played some good games some of them are yeah. are able that i can put them up and uh oh, i will yeah. i'll have to edit yeah. a little bit of the yeah. other ones um yeah but yeah, I think that was... you just make up a mock. Make up a mock um, board state if you can't and just stick it over. The I top. I think I can just because it's only because it's only not covering the programs. I'm just gonna like um, I'm gonna somehow edit the programs that are in play, like uh, either over the back over the top or like to the sides so that um, so that you because the rest of the play I think you can kind of see like maybe you are, you don't see a, a like event card being played every now and then but um yeah i just like stitch those games together a little bit and then uh then we'll put this one out yeah. but it was it was a lot of fun okay cool all right thanks thanks for inviting thank me it was a lot of fun thank you very much and thank you everyone for tuning into youtube we will see you another time ciao for now